Hi there, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to use this really lovely mold that we got from Timu. You'll see it if you look back at our most recent Timu haul video. It's a rose, a beautiful rose. At first, I did think it was a terracotta pot with a rose in it, but it's actually a full proper rose pot. So there's a lid, two parts, the lid and the base. And we're going to use these lovely mica powders, which we also got from our recent Timu haul. Uh, so here we go. So we're just going to apply them like you've seen us do before using a dry bristled paintbrush, just regular little paintbrush that you can get. We can pick them up cheap enough um, from any uh, arts or hobby sort of store or online. So I am applying that pale pink mica powder. Now it doesn't, I must admit at this point, I thought, is this actually going on? Is it sticking to the mold? But it gives this sort of glass-like finish. It's, it's, uh, sorry, is that slightly out of shot there? <laughs> My apologies. Um, but you can probably see it there as it comes back into focus there and into shot. It, it does give like, it's, I, I don't know, a pearlescent, but also like a glass-like effect to it. So that's quite a bit of mica powder has gone in there, but I'm also going to use this lovely silver. So we're doing exactly the same. It's a mixture, I would say this is more a mixture of a mica powder and a glitter, a very fine glitter. I don't know if you can notice that as I'm getting it out of the little bag that's come in and onto the brush. It is very much like a very fine glitter and also a mica powder. So that's a mix of those two colours, that lovely, lovely palest of pinks and the silver. And now we're going to go in with a bit of white as well. Why not? <laughs> of course, you don't have to follow what I've done here. You can use whatever colours you like. If you've got a favourite colour, you obviously you can use that. Or you can just use one of the colours that I've used. So there you go, you can see it. It has coated it a lot, but there's a lot of like that sparkly glitter there. Now, the base part of the pot. I'm going to turn the mould inside out. That's what I did do. There we go. And then here we go. We are going to use some slightly different colours. Again, these also came in our most recent Timu haul. There, there were some of a pack of 10 different shades of mica powder. Look at the colour of this, this beautiful pink. Pinks and corals, these were. So again, I'm just using exactly the same technique as I did with the lid using the dry bristled paintbrush to apply the mica to the mold. Let's just to see how it would actually take to the mold. Now it is, there's a lot of good coverage. It does give a very high sheen, pearlescent sort of glass-like finish to it. With again, with a bit of sparkle, because as I said before, these seem to be a mixture of mica powder, but with some very, very fine glitter. And as per usual, Everything that we've used today uh, in this video will be linked in the description box below, along with any discount codes available to you if you order through Timu. So there we go. I'm just trying to check. I'm pushing out the bit of the mould that doesn't want to push out, you know, uh, to see if I've got an even coverage. So I'm just trying again. I'm adding in a beautiful silver. Look at that. Just adding in the silver. So I'm not sure at this point whether or not it's just come out looking all pink or whether you're actually going to be able to see the gradations and the variations in the different colours of the mica powders that I've used. So here we are, we're turning the mould back in the correct way. I was going to say inside out, but we're turning it the correct way around. As you can see, I've got lots of little bits of glitter all over my hands. You can, of course, wear gloves to do this if you want to um if not just remember to go wash your hands you can just wash it off with just a bit of soap and water there we go so i'm just dusting around the edges did make sure that i also coated the base of that pot there there we are i'm just checking around the inside look at that glass like finish again there we go with the lid as well so mixed up some ghoul resin and that's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. Added in some of this beautiful pink mica, I'm going to call it a mica glitter powder. And again, some of the crystal white that we also got from our recent Timu haul. Oh, 
can't get the stir stick in there so just very carefully mind tapping very very carefully just on the top there to get a little bit of the white powder in there now you know depending on um, the color that you're doing you can of course if you're doing a red you can make red colored resin to go in this if you were doing yellow yellow colored resin totally up to you we opted to go for this beautiful color here there we go look at that so still slightly see-through but picks I thought would pick up the color so that we'd used of the mica powders when we were dusting the mold so just carefully pouring it into the lid of the rose pot there trying not to introduce any additional bubbles there we go look at that so now just around the very edge of the pot there and just underneath that little rim with a micro brush without the little bit of foam on the end of it and also just pressing down into the detail of some of the petals on the pot on the lid of the rose there just trying to make sure and to encourage to come to the surface any little air bubbles that might be trapped and then, of course, as per usual, I have put it to one side, given it a little spritz with some isopropyl alcohol uh, just to get rid of any surface bubbles. So here we go with the pot part of the mould. Again, it's the same resin, one to one mixing ratio with school resin. G-H-G-U-O-L-E, I think. <laughs> Go. we've almost come to the end of this uh, particular brand of resin the next sort of resin I think we've got a few more videos where we're using this resin and then we're swapping back over again to tea expert resin there we go a little bit more that not made up quite enough because I wasn't sure how much resin these uh, the, the lid and the pot and the base part of it would take but here we go almost filled to the brim Here you go just making sure that it's as full as I can get it there we are look at that right now that I left to cure I have demolded it you will see soon but I thought whilst I'm at this why don't I try this in a different color so again we're going to repeat the process we did for that lovely pink uh, version and we've turned it inside out and we're going to use some of this now this is by Arteza and I think this other one might be from Jewels at Resin Jewels so this is from this lovely sort of white yellow golds that we're going to see I've got a mixture of mica powders here now this first one I think is called lemongrass gold or green um, and to say everything I've used will be in the description box uh, for you but I thought I'd go with yellow because I love yellow roses and there we go yes that second one that I'm using there is from um, a lady called Jules at Resin Jules she does some fantastic mica powders glitters all, all you could want really for making lots of lovely resin projects links to her socials will all be in the description box there we go beautiful and then I'm also using it's it's the there's a white one also from resin jewels um, and it's got a bit of a gold gleam to it I think that's the only way I can describe it so there we go I'm making a little bit of a mess of this you know that's me <laughs> I am a messy crafter I'm afraid um, there we go so just making sure that I've got good coverage on them all surfaces of this mold there we go I am just using up a bit that has gone on the work surface there there we go I just I'm fascinated by how this takes to the molds just to see what it's like and there we go a bit more of that beautiful white with a hint of like a golden gleam to it because of course you know if you've bought flowers particularly roses you might say they're red roses pink roses yellow roses but they're not all just one solid yellow color or pink color or red color there's usually different slightly different shades slightly different shades of them to it there we 
go. So we're just going to poke that through so it's the right way round. Look at that. I mean, that's gorgeous. I'm just going back round through the edge, round the, round the top there. Oh, going to use a bit that's gone on my work surface. Waste not, want not. And just making sure every surface is very thoroughly coated. So we're going to do the same thing with the base part. Turning it inside out. Struggling, but turning it inside out. There we go. So it's more difficult to do these things when you're also trying to film something at the same time. So we go just poking it up and through so we can get all the detail, get as many of the surfaces covered as possible. And then again, we're going to use the same colours with one addition. So here I go again with bits of the yellow mix of micas that have gone onto the surface there. Just dusting it anyhow, being quite random. Trying not to get it on the leaves. Now I'm going to use this fluoro green colour, fluorescent green. Again, it's from uh, Jules at Resin Jewels. Just dusting it into the leaf detail parts. As again, I don't know quite how this is going to take with the resin. How deep it's going to come out or not. Um, whether you're going to be able to see the um, the difference in colour. But we're going to try. We're going to try it and we're going to see what happens. Because I didn't also didn't want something that was going to be really such a big contrast. It'd be really in your face. I just wanted to just try something a little bit different. So here I'm going back in with the Arteza branded mica powder. Love Arteza mica powders. Absolutely love, love, love them. Unfortunately... You can't seem to buy them from Amazon in the UK anymore, which is where we got ours originally from. But you can get them if you go onto the onto the US Amazon website. Uh, obviously, you'd be waiting a bit longer for them to get them shipped to the UK or wherever else you are in the world. But of course, you can use any brand. If you've got a favourite brand that you like using, there are plenty of other brands out there. Uh, uh, Let's Resin make them and lots of other brands as well. There we go, just making sure that all of it is covered sufficiently enough so that when you put the resin in, you don't get any little see-through bits, little gaps. Well, that's the theory, that's in theory. So here we are, that's the whole thing done, including that little uh, part in the middle there, because don't forget, that's gonna be the inside of your pot. So just turning it back around the right way little tap there just to make sure to get rid of any excess resin and then just looking can you see the difference slight difference there uh, with the leaves so here we go again we've mixed up some ghoul, red ghoul resin uh, one to one mixing ratio it's not clear now I wasn't too worried about that if I wanted it crystal clear I'd put it through our resiners um, bubble machine it, so it removes all the bubbles and it also works on clearing this resin but I was going to add these mica powders to it so that was the fluorescent yellow which is from Jules at Resin Jewels and a bit of the uh, white with the gleam of gold in it love these love these colours very much reminds me of daffodil daffodils daffodils primroses spring summer sunshine maybe there we go so it looks quite clumpy, but when you mix it all through thoroughly, it, it, it came to this colour. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. There we go. So carefully just pouring it into the base. Trying not to introduce any additional um, bubbles to it. See, it's just coming up to the top there. I calculated a lot better this time with the resin as to how much I would need. So that is the base part, just gave you a little tap there. Going round the top of the edge there with the micro brush, trying to encourage all the little bubbles to come up to the surface. There we go. And here we are, we're now gonna fill up the lid part of the pot. There, that's a better shot of the resin actually going into the mold. So I'm just letting it 
go down into the detail where the petals are and then just got a little mini miniature stir stick just pressing it down carefully and there we are we're just going to fill it up to the top put it to one side with the with the base part of the pot give it a little spritz with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, just get rid of any surface bubbles and then we're going to leave it to 24 hours later now here we go we're not doing the pink one first to show you we're doing this one obviously we had already in real time demolded the pink but you'll see that shortly so un unfortunately as you can see here there are some little air pockets some little bubbles got trapped it cured and it's left these little holes so i will be going back in and uh, just filling those with a little bit of uv resin just to make sure that it's then and then making sure that it's nice and smooth with the surface yeah we got quite a few on this occasion i'm not sure quite why but uh, yeah anyway the mold came away quite well it was quite easy to do just did a little twist and pull i think at the end here we go there we are let's manage to get that one off yeah just need i want a little bit a tiny bit of sanding there i think required but apart from that i am actually quite pleased it's picked up the colors quite well oh there's a little um gathering of uh, mica powder there but look at that it really does actually it's quite fluorescent <laughs> um i wonder what it does in that it's been in direct light hmm let's do the base here we go I'm just pulling that down. Oh, I can see the green there with the slight colour difference with the green on the leaf detail. Wow. Wow. As you can see, struggled a bit. I didn't want to be really forceful with the mould because obviously I don't want to split it and break it because this is one of my favourite moulds. One of my favourites. There we go. It's just got to get it over this little ridge part here and uh, then it should come out okay but it's literally just trying to pull it up and over I mean you can some people do spritz isopropyl alcohol down in between massage it and then it comes away then you've got to make sure you wipe it all off of your project piece um, I prefer not to do that <laughs> um, yeah it just takes a little bit longer that's all there we go almost there almost there although i have to admit at this point i was actually thinking right now where's wayne could he help me <laughs> um there we go oh I ended up trying to roll it as well, as you can see here. I mean, you just need to find the way that's best for you. There we go. There we are. So thank you for bearing with me through that, with seeing my struggles. Sometimes I think it's best to show these things so you can see that, yeah, this is what can happen. There we go. And twist and pull. And then there's that one. Look at it. It looks beautiful. The slight colour variation with the leaves. With the and they are it was the fluorescent green that we used just there. It's really sweet, very very nice, indeed. And there we are. Yeah, unfortunately we've got a couple of little air pockets that have happened there, little bubbles. And there we are with the lid, and it looks lovely, really really lovely. Fits quite well. Obviously, I'd leave that to cure for a little bit longer. Gorgeous. Really, really pleased with that. And it would make an ideal present for anybody at any time of the year. Maybe Mother's Days, birthdays, Christmas. You could do a whole Christmas selection of Christmas roses. Be gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And now, this <laughs> is the pink one. Gorgeous stunning but oh dear yep look there's a big section of resin missing there 
I don't know what happened. I just wasn't my day, I don't think. Um, but, but it is still just as beautiful as the yellow one. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Look, did you get a quick preview there? I'm just showing you a close up there of where we've got some resin missing. All I'm going to do, I'm not going to try and fill those. I'm just going to slightly sand with an emery board or an L file just around the edges, take the sharpness off. And I will be keeping that one <laughs> for myself. So I've just sped this clip, this next couple of clips up. This is my original, this is so this is me trying to demold this for the first time because don't forget I did actually demold. I made the pink one before the yellow one. Wow, I had a struggle. Um yeah. I did have a bit of a struggle with this. So if you've got dexterity issues, this might not be the right mould for you or you're going to have to get someone to give you a hand. But look at that result. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the colour. Love it. Love it. Would look lovely in, in any room in your house or your office or your studio. Look at this. Now, this is the first of the final couple of shots. Um, they're looking beautiful. This is them without their lids. Look at that sparkle. See, it really is a, a mica glitter, I suppose, um, rather than just a mica powder there. And that brilliant deep fluorescing yellowy green colour too is gorgeous. Now this is them with their lids on, showing you all the details of the petals, the overall effect. It is just really, really beautiful and is just the whole of the rose the whole of the flower absolutely stunning stunning can't wait to make more of these in different color variations thanks for watching liking sharing and subscribing and bearing with us because this was rather a lengthy video thanks and we'll see you again Bye bye